Hello guys and welcome to Free Words View and uh, this is the third part of uh, Machine Learning Pro course and uh, in this video I will tell you about how to interpret your machine learning models with statistics and how you can achieve explainable AI. In the last video I talk about the SHAP framework that how you can interpret the complex machine learning models like XGBoost, Random Forest, New Neural Networks as well. And in this video, I'll talk about how to interpret your simple machine learning models like linear regression, logistic regression, SVM, all these kind of models that can be used in the regression as well as classification problems at a very simple or linear level. Okay, so this is our project idea that I just choose. That is vehicle crash prediction. It is based on the insurance domain. And in this uh, project, I talk about that how we can predict that a person should get into car crash or not based on the uh, information that we have about the uh, customer that is about his personal information, his job information, income information, his medical information along with the past claim information and along with the complaints or uh, how many times his license got re revoked or uh, how many times he got claim or frequency of claims every which we have here. Okay, these are the columns that we have. And with the base of these columns, we have to predict the target flag. It is 0 or 1. That is, is will he be in the crash or not? Okay, so this is a binary classification problem. Okay, so let's directly jump into the main uh, machine learning model. And here, we just have to uh, take a look at, I import the stats model library here. That is the main library that we use in our uh, interpretation of machine learning models here in the binary classification problem okay so here i did all the like kind of a feature engineering data pre-processing and that i already explained in my previous video you can check it in the i button above and if you have any question you can put it down in the comment session as well okay so let's directly jump into our machine learning uh, part here and uh, here we go so here i just use the correlation correlation to extract the mostly correlated variables with my target variable and use them in my machine learning models and uh, then I scale them because I have the columns like age along with income as well those are not on the same scale because the a age can be between z z uh, 0 to 100 but the income can be more than 1 lakh that, that is not the same scale that's why I use the standard scaler to scale all my columns that machine learning model will not go bias in any way okay then i use the stats model library and implement the glm model here and this glm model will have the family function as binomial because it is a binary classification problem and because of that i fit my model and get the result summary here and when we get the result summary here this is where the interpretation starts so here you first check about that your dependent variable is correct that is target flag your model is correct that is glm your model family is correct your link function is correct because it is a logit function that is a sigmoid function you have to predict yes or no zero and one okay so in the same way in the down area just check about all your columns whether they are aligned or perfectly correlated with your target variable in positive or negative way or not but you can also check for the standard error and z-score p-values as well in by analyzing all these three four uh, columns you can get your model interpretable okay so let's take an example here let's take an example about the revoked okay so that means a customer license got revoked yes or no so if a customer license got revoked in the past in three times or four times that means that customer is most likely to be in the accident in the future so that shows its coefficient in the positive direction so that means it is positively correlated with the target variable so that means if this value got increased our target variable chances of going into the one also getting increased the so customer having a car crash also got increased and its standard error is also very low and its p value is also less than 0 0.05 so that means we can say that that this variable completely satisfy or completely able to interpret my target
target variable or my prediction in that way. Okay. Similarly, if I talk about the other features like uh, claim frequency. So if my customer is having a claim frequency in a very high range, so that means the customer is repeatedly got into some kind of a crash or some kind of an accident because that's why we got claims so many frequently as well. So in the same way, this is also positively correlated with my target variable and his standard error is low and p value is less than 0 0.05. So that means it is a sig significant variable here. Yeah. And similarly, we talk about the uh, some other kind of vari uh, variables here like uh, MVR points or like uh, uh, N child that uh, the number of child that a customer would have because if the number of child got increased then the chances of getting into an accident is also got increased because uh, when ch childs are in the car they can play some games or like that so it, it can have some kind of uh, accidental causes as well according to the, the data not what I am saying okay and uh, so so like yeah so in that way you can interpret your machine learning model in all these uh, kind of ways by checking the coefficient, standard errors, z score and p-value. And that way you can say that you can interpret your linear regression models, large regression models, models multi-class classification models, binary classification models in the same way. And here I just try to build a kind of a plot of my ROC curve and then try to get the accuracy, precision recall and M1 score about that and it just uh, scale it up all okay so i hope you guys completely understand about how to interpret your basic machine learning models with the statistics and how you can interpret your uh, models with the stats model library as well in our next video we'll talk about something more great and a project on the uh, another machine learning algorithm and i will explain it with the help of explainable ai only for that our future will be in the safe hands because explainable ai is the only way in which machine learning models can be trusted and guys please don't forget to like subscribe and share our youtube youtube channel as well and we'll meet in our next video